Hi everyone, in this video we'll be talking about how you can use TeamFlex to manage your team's goals inside Microsoft Teams. We'll be going over some of TeamFlex features such as team goals, goal check-ins, goal views, and goals inside meetings. We'll be looking at this from the perspective of the manager setting and tracking goals, as well as the direct report receiving and updating those goals. So without further ado, let's dive right into Microsoft Teams and let me show you how you can use TeamFlex to manage your team's goals. If you're a manager in TeamFlex, all you need to do to see your team's goals is go into the goals module and click my team. As you can see, I can see the goals of everyone in my team in list format neatly arranged. And one of the coolest things here is that all these goals can be connected to each other. For example, I can see that this goal, close five goals in the Vancouver area, has two sub goals, two deals in South Vancouver and three deals in North Vancouver. So these two sub goals form the completion criteria for the main goal. And I can edit their weights as well. And as my direct report keeps updating her goal, the goal progress bar here moves forward and I can edit the label and the main parent goal right here, the comments and progress updates. Now, let me show you how you can send out automated goal check-ins to your direct reports. You can adjust the frequency of goal check-ins inside the team flight admin center. You can select how many times a week they'll be receiving automated check-ins, when it will start, which day it will be sent, you know, the exact time. And once you click save check-in, TeamFlex will start sending these goal check-ins automatically to your direct reports. Now let me show you what these automated goal check-ins look like from the point of view of the direct reports. As you can see, they just received a notification from TeamFlex and that notification was for this goal check-in card. Right here, they can adjust the current value of the goal as well as its status. They can change it to on track, off track, at risk, so on and so forth. And they can comment on the goal progress itself. Switching back to manager view now, let's see what those goals look like after those goal check-ins. I'm going into my team again, this time clicking feed view. And I can see that Adele's goal moved from 33% to 66, or 40 to 60 and moved from off track to at risk, or 44 to 67, etc. I can even filter these goals according to individuals or just click user view and see everyone's goals listed right here. And I can move back and forth or hide people's goals like this for a more clear view. Now, let's go into one of these goals again and I can change the status like so. Now, let me show you how you can keep track of goals inside meetings. To access a meeting, I'm going into someone's profile, let's say Adele, and go into one of our upcoming meetings. As you can see, inside the meeting agenda, I can access all of Adele's goals. This is a great way to prepare for the meeting and see where everyone is at with their goals. But it doesn't stop just before the meeting. You can access these goals inside ongoing meetings. All you have to do is add TeamFlect to the meeting page. Click Apps, find TeamFlect, and click Save. Once you do that, TeamFlect will fire up inside your ongoing Teams meeting. And all you need to do is click See Goals. Once you do that, you can see all of Adele's goals once again. Now, you can filter them according to date and period, as well as filter it according to its status. You can even create new goals inside meetings, but this isn't just limited to one-on-one -on -one meetings. Let's go into meetings and select a meeting with a lot of participants in it. So this is a weekly team meeting. And if I click show goals, I can access everyone's goals once again. And that is how you can use TeamFlick to manage your team's goals inside Microsoft Teams. We love bringing you these use case scenarios, but if you have questions that weren't answered in this video, please feel free to contact our support staff whenever you need to. We absolutely love hearing from you. Have a good one.